Bow Doctor Part 3 electronic setup. I just set the Garmin up on a video for you. Your fuel gauge. This is your fuel management 1.3 gallons per hour, miles 5.9. These are very efficient and tells you how many miles you went. Gallons per hour, miles per gallon. We want to go gallons per hour right there. And this has got your trim gauge. If you hit this, you see that bar coming up? Go down. And if you hit the mode, it'll go into like temperature, battery, and then your hours. There you go. And hours is where you got to do to do the troll speed. Okay, now that we're doing this, we're still kind of cruising. I'm going to pick up the speed a little bit more because I know I'm going to drift back this way. Now we're on traditional, so I'm going to go like this. Now I'm going to look, okay, I got my depth, I got my temperature, I got my miles and hours, volts, time. Now say I don't like that color there. You're going to hit the menu button, this one right here. Range is auto, what you want, frequency, 200 kilohertz chirp. Now that's good for this area up to about 200 feet. If you're getting deeper, you want to go to chirp 77 or chirp 77 for like, say, 400 feet and up. Yeah. Because if you run that frequency here, you probably ain't going to see any fish that's too strong. And what I also liked about this, they use chirp in both frequencies, 77, 77, 200, and chirp 200. So then you back up. So right now you're fine on that. Overlay numbers are those numbers we've seen over on the screen. Zoom, we've got to hit this. I want manual split zoom bottom lock. No, I don't want that. Sonar setup. Then you hit the check mark. Depth line, I want. So you hit show appearance now this is your colors is yellow so I'm gonna hit the check I'm gonna go down to maroon because I like maroon don't ask me why I just do a scope I want on fish symbols off uh, the, two, the fish symbols are misleading you'll see all these fish beep, 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 beep. people got their beepers on uh, get, it's probably not fish anyway it's probably air I'm gonna show you how you can tell okay so then you go back tells you transducer type scroll speed noise rejection that's the noise you see in the water so bottom uh, scroll speed to go back uh, zoom overlay sonar set so we got that set now this is called an a scope right here so see these colors the red the orange the yellow if you see those uh, let me see uh, I'm gonna go over here because if I was a fish I'd be running over here yeah, see, there's one right there, a little one. But this blue stuff over here, don't pay any attention to that, okay? What's the time? 9.53, so 10, 10.05. 42 feet. We got a depth line right there. So if I was going to see any fish, I should start seeing them right now. About 35 feet. There, right there. Okay, so... When you see this orange color pop up into here somewhere, like right there, you can go up into here. That's your depth, 15.4. If you want to zoom in on it, you can zoom in on it and get it a little closer or bring it back down. Okay, so there was fish. So if you see orange and red in here, that's it's living, okay? And then you had one up there at uh, four feet okay so they should be running back over here now okay so this one's set so then you go back now you go to clear view you hit this one now that blue this color is kind of growing on me a little bit it's called flood light so then you hit the menu button range is there oh, see how he's got it on 40 feet uh, you go over here you go to auto Unless you go into deep water, then you want to get off and set it down to like, you can go down to 1,200 feet. Then you go like this back, contrast is fine, no zoom. Okay, sonar setup, hit that, depth line I want. Uh, this is how you change your color. Transducer type, scroll speed, bottom lock, fine. So we go back, overlay numbers, that's the numbers you see on your screen. Frequency, 455, okay. You don't want it on 800 kilohertz if you're in the, from zero to 300 feet. Because then, again, if at 800, you know there's fish here, you're not going to see them. you got to go to 455, which is this is set. So then you go back, there's your depth line. You're at 455 kilohertz. 
you got all your readings over here so then you go back again this is just your standard old flasher what i started using years ago there's your a scope over here there's nothing that's just showing you the bottom there's your depth the range is 51 the auto is on gain so then you just go back you probably won't use that split frequency okay this is on uh, 277 so this gives you both uh depths see how this takes a while this is going to be a little stronger so that way if you're out there and you don't see nothing on this one you see it on here that means you're in deeper water so then you click back then you can go and it does have active captain right here so then this what this one does is gives you your clear view right here and gives you your traditional and everything's set there and then this is just a quick draw map so what this does is gives you GPS heading, speed, depth, time of day. You can change those numbers. I'm going to hit this one. Now this doesn't have the built-in base maps as far as the buoys and the cans. If you want that, I don't know if you can even get it in this unit. Let me feel back here. No, they would have a card slot back there. So overlay numbers were fine. Map setup, I just hit this. Heading line, I went on, I want to go distance, I hit that, angle marker's on, and then your radio just kicked on, then you hit OK for the volume, you hit push in on this as a squelch, that's real clear, then I hit OK, then if scan, you go like this and scan all, four on board, inbound. So I'm going to shut this off so maybe that noise got to you. And then I'm going to go like this and turn this off. And that's a volume. Angle markers on. Distance. Okay. Feet. No, we want to go to miles. Go like this. And then you got to go back to distance. You go like this. And then remember that. That's that squelch. So you go here. I'm going to put it to three to where it doesn't get, see now I'm hearing it again so I don't really want to hear that so I sometimes I can hit this and it will bypass that there you go and then all and if it does it again I'm going to turn the squelch up so then you go over here whoop, go like this and it goes to the next number then you go up to mile then you want that one at zero then you go over here and you hit done. Okay, so that's done. Waypoint depth shading, yeah, you got that. Yep, that's fine. Go over here, orientate heads up, shallow water, auto. Go here, tracks, go here. Uh, tracks are on, active track options. Then wrap, resolution, we want a darker color, so we want to go yellow's kind of a, a good color to go to. Uh, it stands out. Boy, that antenna really, uh, picks up and touches someone and so we got everything we needed right there okay so if you want to find your waypoints right there tracks right there then I'm going to shut this off so we're just not idling that motor then we're going to go back here see how I got your compass up there I got my heading speed and depth and uh, like say this is a waypoint if you want to set a waypoint right here uh, go into here if I'm going to go to uh, back back let's go into home I want to go to users data go here now that tells me uh, I can go to my waypoints routes and tracks and like I say this does have active captain so you can hook up to your Wi-Fi um, then go over and see if there's any more nope so then what I'm going to do is probably Go home. Uh, oh, backtrack. And then I got so oh right here. So then if I wanted this one, I could go here and it gives me all three. Clear view. But there is one more thing I want to check. I want to go up to clear view here. And then I want to go into menu here. Uh, so range is fine. Go over here, go to sonar setup. Uh, no, so I was right. Okay, that's all that matters. Ha! <laughs> that was kind of conceited. All that matters. That's funny. 
Okay, so now I want to go home. You just hit that. I want to go down here to get all three. Over here. Over here. Here's the check mark. Okay. And see this 26 keeps popping up. Hit exit. Push on here for the squelch. I'm going to go up to four now and hit OK. Scan all. That way I'm going to eliminate for that one to keep coming on. And then if you want to stop that and go to weather, just push that in. Go to two. Hit that and it goes back. Hit scan. Hit all. Okay. So now we're pretty much everything there is set. See, it's doing it again. It's picking it up. You can exit it and just scan all. If it does it again, I'll set that squelch up one more because, again, this antenna is a good antenna. So it's picking up. So again, you turn this on. See how I did that? So I'm going to go to squelch six. Okay. And I'm going to skip that. I don't want to hear that anymore. So I'm going to exit. I'm going to go into here. I'm going to maybe turn that down to four on the squelch. Scan all. Okay. This got the skip mode. So if that station keeps popping up, you can get rid of it. Okay, I'm going to go on to part four now on the running. Uh, 1550 Frontier, beautiful boat. I love it. Uh, this, this would do awesome. It's like a little bobber.